stormed the Capitol building. They are a probe into the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol has been underway for almost a year. The Democratic-led House of Representatives Select Committee is entering a more public phase of its work. Televised public hearings are set to begin on June 9th. Here are some facts about the investigation. First, a quick recap of the day itself, January 6, 2021. That everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building. Thousands of supporters of Donald Trump attacked the Capitol building in a bid to stop formal certification of the Republican president's election defeat. Four people died on the day. A Capitol Police officer died the following. 140 others were injured, and four officers have since taken their own lives. Nine House members sit on the committee, seven Democrats and two Republicans. The two GOP representatives, Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger, were censored by the Republican National Committee for their participation. The RNC had never before censored any sitting congressional Republican. More than 1,000 depositions and interviews have been conducted. Most interviewees have not been identified, although those who are known include Trump's daughter and close advisor Ivanka Trump, her husband Jared Kushner, and attorney Rudy Giuliani. The committee announced it had issued 99 subpoenas and is known to have issued more that haven't been made public. Some of the most notable known subpoenas have been sent to Mark Meadows, a former congressman who served as a Trump White House chief of staff, Steve Bannon, a former Trump advisor, Roger Stone, a longtime Republican operative, Trump's son Eric, and major social media firms. Let's have trial by combat. The House has voted, largely along party lines, to recommend contempt of Congress charges for four Trump associates for refusing to cooperate. Trump has urged former aides to disregard committee subpoenas. Nearly 850 people have been arrested for crimes related to the breach of the Capitol, including more than 250 charged with assaulting or impeding law enforcement. Nearly 300 people have pleaded guilty to a variety of federal charges.